How to create spiral text in Affinity Photo, PC or Mac. Go to the spiral tool, you can find that in the tools panel. Now I've got it here, so select that, but you might be able to find it over here with the rectangle beneath that. So with the spiral tool, you notice you've got a lot of options. Probably the default will be linear, and you can see the setting here, cusped, and also spiral anti-clockwise, and five, and just simply apply it. And you can vary it, so you might decide, you know what, let's just go for decaying instead. Or maybe go for counter semicircular. You can vary obviously this and you can modify a number of turns. Maybe decide instead of five, go for six or seven. Then go over here and select the artistic text tool. So artistic text tool, set the font, set the, I'm going for eight point and Andel mono. And then just click anywhere. Now I'm going to go for the center and you can see as you hover, you'll notice this T cursor appears. Simply just click. And there you get that, that's a start point. And you can then type your text. And it could be any text, you can see like that. And it can continue to create all kinds of different text. Obviously I'm just random letters. But what you can then do is you can select all like that. You can select certain parts. Maybe then go to here, the character. This is the key panel, character panel. Or you can go up here. And maybe go for, say, 11 or 20. So you can vary it. Or just keep it all the same, of course. If you want to select all of the text, simply triple click. So triple click. That's all selected. And then, of course, then you can change it. So go for, say, 13. Now you see, it slightly gets a bit cramped there at the centre. So I'm just going to move it. You just move it using this green little point there. And just drag that around. And just go to there. So once you've got that, you've now got that perfect spiral text design. And of course, you can modify other settings here. Maybe go here. With it selected, it needs to be selected. And then just go here and say, I want minus 20. So it goes there. Or maybe go for 20. You can vary, it, obviously. Maybe go for 30. And so on. Now, let's just go to the Move tool. Once you've got this, you decide your text is Perfect now. Well, you can also, of course, color it, change all kinds of other things as well. But once you've got that, you can also convert it to curves. You lose this spiral, of course, so you can't add any more text. That's the key thing. So convert to curves. The whole thing's converted. You notice the spiral is gone. You can't change the text. Now you can manipulate it, of course, further. Simply go there, select that. And you can manipulate it, say, by going to layers, maybe add in effects, maybe go to filters and distort it, deform, all those kinds of things. If you want to manipulate the individual characters, you can also just go over here to the layers. You'll notice now you've got a group. So then simply click there and you can see you've got all this text. Now it's probably a bit hard to read actually, all the various things, but say you decide you want to tick those, obviously it might be a word or something, and you want to move it. So you just go to the move tool, and now you can just move it, just reposition it. Maybe just maybe change the size, maybe rotate it, change the color, etc. Or maybe just like I say, delete it. You can also manipulate the actual individual characters as well by using the node tool. It's obviously made up of points at this point, and you can then change those. So you can go back to the spiral tool. So with the spiral tool selected there, you might decide let's just change that. So click, and now go for say. Semicircular, so semicircular, and maybe eight, and apply it like that, and you can see now you've got a different spiral. Now the text again, artistic text tool, select that, and again go here or go here. So again hover or just anywhere. So hover there and click. Again, paste or type some text. I've already got some text in the pasteboard or clipboard, and you can see now you've got that, and you of course can continue to add some text to that. Now, the one trouble with this is it gets very crunched just there. Now, you might decide, you know what, let's just triple click again. And what you can do, you can modify this setting again. So baseline, just change that or maybe push it further out. Now, obviously, push it too far and it goes too far away from each other. But maybe at that point where it doesn't look so bad on the corners. And of course, you modify other settings as well. Maybe go here for shear. So you can just quickly shear it. Or maybe go up here and click here. 
change the color. Maybe click here and go for black. So you can get a lovely, obviously, background effect as well with your spiral. So once you've done that, again, go over here, select the Move tool, and then Convert to Curves. And it's all converted, and you've got your spiral text, obviously, a square spiral. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Bye.